Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to second week of yoga stress release class. And I'm your yoga instructor, Wen Ting. This is our second week. The difference between the first week and second weeks is it's more frequent. So we'll increase the level of you. See if you can accept those frequency throughout the whole practice to really get your neck and shoulders like bring it down with the stress. So let's start it. First of all, as like same as before, find your spot where you can reach your hand without hitting anything. Keep sitting straight to sit bone, down rooted to the ground, top of your head touch to the ceiling. Adjust yourself first and bring attention back to your ear, mouth, your nose, your eyes. Make sure you rinse your hand before you join this class again. Beautiful. So inhaling, hands on the side, inhale. Cross your thumb, eyes, you don't have to look up, eyes look up to the front. So really inhaling, inhaling, inhaling. Keep inhaling. If you're a beginner, you can hold for a few seconds. If you're high blood pressure, don't hold any time. Always use your nose to breathe. Exhaling, bring it down. Inhaling. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Bring those arms together by crossing your thumbs together. Beautiful. Try to reach that up. Have your air next to touching your arms, right? Eyes looking to the front. Keep inhaling, exhaling. Bring it down. Take another deep breath in, slowly feel that weight on your arms, right? From heavy to light, cross that thumb. Really reaching it up like a straight pencil, pointing to the sky, exhaling. Bring it down. Give some time to breathe. Feel up the balloons again, inhaling. Feel the weight of your hand from heavy to light. Point your finger up to the top. Cross the thumb, eyes toward the front. Exhaling. Beautiful. Now let's turn to the ocean weight. First of all, inhaling, contract that little back muscle and point your chin up to the ceiling or the sky. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, like a flying bird. Exhaling, ocean wave. Just your chin touch your chest without curling your back. Beautiful. Cross your thumb. Make your arm the same level as the floor, inhaling. Good morning world, push back oh, that ocean wave, cross your back, like really like contract that back muscle, have your chin up, exhaling, chin to your chest, good evening. Inhaling, bring those wave out like good morning world. Exhaling slowly and gently, count your five seconds, cross your um, uh, thumbs. Beautiful. 
inhaling, keep inhaling, contract that back, feel the big stretch from your chin all the way down to your belly right here. So exhaling. Release. Now we're gonna do the diagonal turning. So inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Bring your arms up, same height as your floor, right? Not too low, not too high. Try to each exhale, try to extend that further back, eyes toward the back, to your fingertips if you can. Exhaling, go to the other side. Keep it up like an airplane. Exhaling back to the center. Inhale. To the other side. Keep it up. One more round. One more time. One more round. One more time. As you exhale, back to the center, keep your arms up, try your best. Exhaling, beautiful. Now, before the next sequence, for beginner, if your legs sore right now, you can pat them for a little while. And usually when your right leg on the top, we call it easy pose or left leg on the, on the top, we call it that is easy pose. So when I say easy pose, you know like that's like most likely you one leg up on the others. That's like a typical poses in yoga. So sitting position, okay. Alright, let's come back, second frequency. Hands on your fists, inhaling up. Contract that back. Try to bring that shoulder down if you can. Chin up to the ceiling. All the sky, all the Milky Way, all the universe. And exhaling. Bring those elbows touch together if you can. Have the arms level up the same like level, horizontal level as the floor. Chin touch your chest. Really giving that five seconds to breathe, to exhale, inhaling, three more times with me. Chin touch the ceiling, big stretch from the tip of your chin down to your belly, really feeling it. Exhaling, bring those arms together. Chin touch your chest. Don't curve your back. Excellent. Just your chin, okay? Yes, everybody little need a little reminder sometimes. Inhaling. Two more time. Contract that back. Shoulder down. Head up. Really feeling that balloon in with your air. Exhaling, beautiful, arms together, just your chin, don't curve your back, excellent, one more time, inhaling, shoulder down, contract that back, exhale, Elbows together if you can. If not, then make a mental note. Not everybody can, so it's okay. You eventually get there. Chin touch your chest without curling your back. Beautiful. Now, please, right? Now, bring your attention to your shoulder. We're trying to bring the shoulder to your ear. Four times, inhaling, up. 
Really feeling that balloon in your lungs. Exhaling like a deflating balloon slowly and gently. Have fun doing it with your children or with any one of your family member or with yourself. Inhaling. Really bringing that shoulder up like an opening umbrella now. Exhaling like a closing umbrella in your lungs. Eyes always look toward the front. Inhaling up. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Five, four, three, two, one. And exhaling. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. One more time. Inhaling. Exhale. Excellent. Now, the same as last time. Bring one leg, cross the other. Make sure to sit bone down to the floor, right? If you can, try to have your feet touch to the ground. The feet that is up, okay? So do it on your left hand side first. Bring it up and the other one cross in the, the back. Make sure your, your, your back is straight. That means that you don't curve your back. And also top of your head touch to the ceiling the whole time. Now make that connection if you can. If not, then just stay there. It's totally fine, okay? Make that connection if you can. Try to have that arms like touch together if you can. So inhaling, slowly put your chin to your chest and roll up. Eyes on your upper elbow. Exhaling, roll your head, chin down to your shoulder. Feels like you're standing on the top of the mountain looking down. Now inhaling, roll your head to your elbow. Feels like there's another mountain you need to climb up from the bottom. Eyes on the tip po tip po tipping points of your elbow. Beautiful. Exhaling. Eyes toward your shoulder. Really take it slow, guys. Take it slowly. Roll your head. Inhaling. Chin rolling like a rolling ball up. Eyes on the elbow. Keep breathing through your nose. Exhaling. Eyes on your shoulder. Release. Beautiful. Now we're going to switch to the other side. Make sure your two sit bones is able to touch the floor first. Adjust yourself if you can. And top of your head, touch the ceiling. Any point, any point you feel pain. Stop there, massage, and take a while and come back whenever you feel you're ready, okay? Always listen to your body. Your body is so honest to you that you got to be listen, right? So now we're going to do the right arms. Make sure after you have the two sit bone down, right? If it is too much for you, you can always adjust yourself, see? Right? Inhale, leg up. Cross that arm, bring the other arms, bend over, and make that connection. Right? Inhaling, chin to your chest. Roll yourself up, look up to your elbow. Exhaling, roll your chin down to your shoulder. Inhaling, roll your chin slowly and gently. 
like a rolling ball but look up as you reach your eyes reaching up to the elbow like the top of the mountain in the world the tallest mountain in the world Choma Loma exhaling now like you're standing on the top of the mountain looking down to your elbow I mean your shoulder beautiful one more time roll it up exhaling release you may also like every time when you finish the, the section you may also like pat yourself right to give more air into your blood flow take a deep breath in find the center of yourself find the balance points of yourself within you now one arms on the top one arms on the other and make that joints like um architecture right like an architecture joint like hook and then the other hook and then you combine join it together okay like that it doesn't matter which hand first because we're gonna switch so if you do it left hand on top or right hand on the bottom or the other way it's totally fine so inhaling push it up to the sky push your energy up to the sky exhaling bend it over behind your head really pulling that two arms ladies if you have nails make sure like listen to your nail be careful okay so make sure you like try your best protect yourself from that from the nails um and also have your arms like open up open up your chest and inhaling push it up again keep inhaling keep inhaling keep inhaling exhale bend it over really opening that arms up inhaling the next inhale push up to the tallest as you can you may have your air next to your arms now. Exhaling. Without bending your head, okay? So you see how I can do it. Beautiful. Now release. And also like if your left hand on top, now you can switch. Same pose, right? Same pose. Like that. So, and then inhaling, this time we're going to push it to the front, chin touch your chest. Beautiful, inhaling, pull it up and then chin up to the ceiling. Inhaling, the next inhale, push it forward. Exhaling. Chin touch up to the ceiling. We're almost there. Give yourself five seconds and exhaling. Push it forward. See your arm if it's level up, it's the same as the floor. Check yourself. See if your chins are able to slightly touch your chest. If not, just like chin down. Inhaling. Slowly exhaling. Bring your chin up. Release. Beautiful. You guys, awesome. Now bring your palms together. Inhaling. Switch to one side. See how far back you can go. Eyes toward the back. Keep your two sit bones down to the floor. 
Keep pushing that arms together. Just make that connection. Inhaling to the other side. Eyes toward the back. Beautiful. Two more times. Exhaling back to the center. Inhaling to the other side. Eyes toward the back. Keep pushing the arms together. Good. Shoulder down. Inhaling one more time. Each exhale, try to get it back further if you can. Without your sit bone uh, up to the floor. So two sit bones still down. Exhaling. Inhaling one more time. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Exhale, beautiful. Back to the center. Now we're going to do our neck park. Before that, our next sequence. So before that, make sure you massage your body a little bit first. Okay, we're almost there. So inhaling. Focus on your neck. Inhaling, I'm going to tilt it up. Okay. So inhaling up, just your neck, keep your shoulders the same as before, and exhaling, chin down, really feeling that big stretch in the back of your neck, shoulder down, inhaling. Feel that big stretch on the top of your chin down to your belly. Exhaling. Slowly and gently feel that skin. Where are the where are tight skins, right? Where's the loose skins? Whenever they're so tight, when they will be loose. Ah, wonderful. You feel that muscle when you're slow. You have to be slow to feel that muscle. I'm moving. Now, one more time with me. Inhale. Big stretch on the sides of your neck and exhale. Big stretch on the back of your muscle and the skin. Wonderful. Back to the center slowly and gently. Now, I know your legs I may feel lumps and that's totally fine as long as it's not pain. And if it's pain, you can level up yourself, massage, rest, come back. Now we're going to do left and right. Inhaling. Imagine yourself like an owl. Right? See how far back you can look without turning your shoulder, okay? So keep your shoulder toward the front. Stay there. Just your neck. Exhaling to the other side. Wonderful. Human can actually see 270 degrees eye side. So whatever you see it, you, we don't see 360 like Al does. We only see 270. So be humble. There's always 90% of the angle you don't see. Inhaling. Try to look as further back as you can. Well, maybe if you keep practicing, right, you see more and more. It's possible. One more time. Without turning your back, okay? Only your head. Beautiful. Now, inhaling, we're going to peel our head. 
Try to make your air touch your shoulder without moving your shoulder though. Make that mental connection. Inhaling. Big stretch on the side from your air behind your air down to your shoulder. You feel, feel the tightness uh, where the loose is on the other side. Inhaling back to the center, exhaling to the other side. Always use your nose. Keep breathing. Back to the center on the other side for five seconds. Some of you notice my hand is already in the mudra like first week. Thumb to your index belly. Take your five seconds and turn to the other side. Shoulder down. Beautiful. Yep, little reminder is so important. Shoulder down. Shoulders not moving, only your head tilted. One more time, inhaling. Big stretch on the side of your neck. Woo! So tight. Take your time. Do it on the other side. Beautiful. Here comes the, the challenge time. Remember last time? Yes. Right shoulder up. Head down. This shoulder is not moving. Inhaling. Keep inhaling. Keep inhaling. Bring that elbow. Bring the arms up. Bring the shoulder up. Exhaling. Back to the center. Release. Now on the other side, bring your left shoulder up, head tilted on the side. Release. Beautiful. Now we're going to do that net rolling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Chin down. Inhaling, roll your chin slowly like a rolling ball. Keep your chin touching until there's a level up. Inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Exhaling, slowly have your chin touch it all the time like a rolling, rolling ball. Beautiful, chin down. Only the chin down, back is still straight. Excellent. Now inhaling, roll on the other side. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, exhaling. Slowly and gently roll that chin down. Stay here, keep breathing. Now inhaling to the left. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Exhaling. One more time, gently take a five second deep breathing. Do it on your right hand side. Chin up. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Exhaling. Slowly and gently, really slow, and roll your chin down. Now back to your center. Now we're going to do a crop pose for three minutes. Okay? Your leg must be really numb, right? Since you sit really long time, 
So you can really now take the time to like pat yourself, make a hole, right? To pat yourself in the back of your leg, right? To really like giving more air and circulation to your leg. Or you may just lay down. We're gonna stay here for three minutes, okay? So take your time, really take that time. Find your spot and legs are naturally apart, hands up is sharing the energy with universe. Hands down in a piece. Gonna continue. Pull your chin down a little so that so that your neck is not overextended. Breathe into the tightness, breathe into the soreness of your body and exhaling, let it drain. Find out if your eyebrow is tight, then release. Open it up. Find out if your shoulder is up, then bring it down. If you feel cold, make sure you cover up your body a little bit. Or maybe wear a socks if you need. Sing your whole body down to the floor as you exhale. Now slowly move your legs and fingers back to the earth. Bring your arms over your head if you can. And if you think you have a big belly, you cannot like roll up like, like you just did. You can connect your back of your neck and roll yourself up. If not, then just let's do this together. Inhaling, stretch your arms straight. Exhaling. Slowly bring yourself up, okay? Now we move on to the breathing exercise. So sit tall and nice. Find your nice spots at home. Now we look at our five finger again. We're gonna introduce again our five fingers, wonderful five fingers. Um, 
First finger is control of your mind. Second finger, I, physical. Right, middle finger is spiritual being. Uh, ring finger, emotional maturity. And little finger, wheel of power. Combine of your second and third finger is pure consciousness. Calm yourself down in between your head, forehead. The other hand, just relax six times with me. Let's do the breathing exercise alternative. Press into your right nostril. Inhale through your left. Press your left nostril. Open up the right. Exhaling. Inhaling through your right. Press your right. Open your left. Exhaling. So continue. Five more round. Press to your right nostril. Inhaling through your left. Press your left. Open your right. Exhaling. You don't have to do the same. Make sure you listen to your own lung capacity. Inhaling right. Press your right. Open your left. Exhaling. Inhaling through your left. Press your left, open your right, exhaling. Inhaling right. Press your right, open your left, exhaling. Inhaling left. Press your left, open your right, exhaling. Inhaling right. Press your right, open your left, exhaling. Feel the coldness and hotness in your lungs. Inhaling left. Press your left, open your right, exhaling. Inhaling right. Press your right, open your left, exhaling. Inhaling left. Press your left, open your right, exhaling. Inhaling right. Press your right, open your left, exhaling. Release your arms and breathe for one minute. You may close your eyes and keep yourself sitting straight. Top of your head, touch the ceiling, shoulder down. Sit bone connected to the roof, to the earth. Hands with your mudra hands, thumb to your index belly. Without controlling your breath, see how far the breathing can go. Okay, and slowly open up your eyes. And now we turn to the Victoria breathing, also called the Ujjayi breathing. So inhale deeply, we're gonna contract the little muscle, make a heezing sound. If not, it's okay. Just like keep contracting it, your sound will slowly develop up. We're gonna, today we're gonna do it 24 times, right? The second weeks. So six cycle. So let's start it, inhaling. And also listen to your own lung, listen to your own lung, own capacity. You don't have to do it the same as with me. So you can always like, you know, feel your own breath. So it would be beautiful if in, in a real class, it, we can hear like an ocean wave, like up and down all together. Used to have 24 students do it with me 24 times. And we have like, hmm, it's just amazing. So feel it yourself right so inhaling deep 
exhaling. Mm -hmm. Really sitting straight, make sure you keep your two sit bone down to the floor, top of your head, touch the sky. Take another deep breath, inhale. Mm. Even all the air is out, even the sounds out, keep exhaling until all the air is out. Inhale deeply. Mm. until all the air is out. Inhale deeply and slowly. Until all the air is out. Inhale gently and slowly and deeply, gently and inhale. Mm. until all the air is out. Mm. Keep your shoulder down, top of your head, touch the ceiling. Deep breath in. Mm. Let all the air out. your head touch the ceiling wait until all the air out inhaling deep mm. shoulder down
take your time. Mm -hmm. Top of your head to the sky. Mm -hmm. out in healthy mm. top of your head touch the ceiling shoulder down roof down to your two sit bone mm. Always use your nose. Mm. Take another deep breath in. Mm. Shoulder down. Release your muscle in your nose, in your throat. Gently breathe for one minute. Top of your head, touch the ceiling. Make sure you breathe into those tightness and if there's any soreness or numbness on your leg, you let it come and let it go. Any emotion come, you let it come and let it go. The next five minutes practice is the meditation practice and it's gonna be um, your sounds or audio, right? Your sounds breathing. So you're going to inhale, you think about you focusing on free, right, inhale, and then exhale, you think about peace, or the other way, whichever way you feel more comfortable. And so before that, make sure you like, you know, pat your leg and, you know, level up yourself, sit in a really comfortable position that you don't feel any pain on it. We're going to do the breathing exercise. You may close your eyes and you may have your thumb to your index belly to increase that calmness with the mudra with me. Or you may have your thumb touched together to connect your lungs. If you're boys, you have your left hands up on the top. If you're girls, you have right hands on the top. 
it's just a different blood circulations okay so that's why I learned that so it's all up to you now sitting straight that means I you don't do it like that you respect your natural curve of your body right so on top of your head touch to the sky and two seat bone connecting down to the roof now close your eyes inhaling peace exhaling free or the other way peace free so you don't have to say it out loud you just you can just say it in your head peace free peace free not controlling your breath but observing peace free so you can do it your lung capacity because each one of us has different lung capacity so listen to your own rhythm peace free peace free peace free peace free top of your head touch the sky shoulder down peace free 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 Any sounds coming to your mind right now, you let it come and let it go. Don't let that disturb you. I notice there's some noise, could be always in your circumstance or in my circumstance that we have no control. You let it come and let it go. Is now is the best practice for you to focus. So meditation to heal in order to heal. It's also like you're breathing as you're focusing on your peace and free practice. At the same time, you let all the external emotions come in and out without control. So you slowly open up your eyes and inhaling with me, arms facing up and bend it over. Om is the first sounds of the universe. Om in yoga. So thank you for letting me to guide your practice of the second week. I hope you enjoy and looking forward for the third week. Namaste.